H.R. 8 is the bill that should be on the floor. We should get a vote on it. Um, let's see what the Republicans produce. From everything I've been told, uh, it's not even going to be close to H.R. 8. Let's see what they produce. Yes. Uh, the bottom line is we want as clean a CR as a short term, clean a short term CR as possible. Uh, the place to make those points, and we will be making them strongly, is in the larger appropriations bill. Leader Schumer. Senator Schumer, you made the case personally to President Trump over the weekend on guns. Can you characterize his response to you? Did you sense he was open? Did you sense he was open? What did you get back from him? Well, he did listen. He was on the golf course, as he told us on the phone, but he listened. Um, but he did not make any commitments at all. He said he has all kinds of people he's meeting with. He said uh, everyone's got to be flexible, that kind of stuff. I was, not, I was not encouraged by what the president said. And when you say he weren't encouraged, you've talked to him for years on this. I mean, do you detect waffling? Do you think he really doesn't know? I think question? what happened. Do you think he's really thinking about, as McConnell says, let's get something that can pass and no. become law? He's the re <laughs> no, he's not thinking that because he's the reason that nothing can pass. What he's, I think what happens is this. The president each time realizes the force of America has changed. And make no mistake about it. I've been, you know, as the author of the Brady Law, I've been following this since 1993 and even earlier, 1992. And what happens with the president, and has happened each time, is he feels the force. And it's getting stronger and stronger. Until about five years ago, even though most Americans were for background checks and for gun safety laws, more of the activists were on the other side. What's flipped is there are now more activists on the side of gun safety than on the side of the NRA. And they know that. So that's why it's taken so long. Probably five years ago, they just would have said, oh, this is terrible, Your, our thoughts and prayers are with the people, and then not even um, made an attempt to do something. Now, what happens is they feel the public heat, the President, McConnell, all the Republican senators, particularly those up for election, um, they then feel the heat of the NRA, and so they're like a yo, you know, they're back and forth and back and forth, and they can't come to a right place on this. Make no mistake about it, H.R. 8 is hardly a radical position. It's a modest position. It simply takes a law in 1994 that everyone agreed to and just closes loopholes so it'll be as effective now as it was in 1994 because. When we passed the law, I know as the author, there was no online, so you couldn't limit online selling. Gun shows were mainly places where people showed old antique guns. They were not a place of commerce and selling guns. That has all changed. But the fundamental concept of a background check has been with us since 1993. This is not a radical position.